Good evening and welcome to the video. Now, good evening isn't something I usually say here. It's usually good morning. But today I'm on my way to my first ever evening race and my first ever actually 5K race. So a bit of a story behind this, last minute decision. On Wednesday, so today's Friday, on Wednesday, I saw one of the local running clubs advertising um, a race they were putting on. There was 2K for the kids, 5K and a 10K. Now, I did the 10K uh, at the weekend, so I thought I'd have a go at doing the 5K. It's a multi-terrain but flat course, so looking forward to it. To be honest, I'm not expecting a PB or anything uh, like that. I'm honestly quite tired today not really in the mood but i've paid my entry and i still want to i still want to participate but last few nights of sleep hasn't been great i've only got like five hours whereas i'm used to getting eight or nine sometimes so uh, yeah that's taking its toll so the running club that put on this event are the fremington trailblazers and the race takes place in insto starting at the cricket club there as i said it's a multi-terrain race you head out on the tark trail then you turn left i think it is onto the coast path and then back around to the cricket club in terms of my kit choice it's exactly the same as what i wore for the 10k at the weekend other than i've changed my shoes now as I've mentioned in the past, I've had not necessarily issues with the Sauconies, but I'm not overly keen on how squishy they feel under my feet. I like to have a little bit of contact with the ground. So being that it's multi-terrain and not on all on the target trail, I've decided to go for the Hoka Mac 4s. They seem to be a little bit more stable and I can feel the ground a bit better. I just didn't want to run the risk of wearing the Sauconies and then potentially roll my ankle again or anything like that while I'm on the coast path. Temperature wise, it's not too hot. I think it's about 19, 20 degrees. Certainly not as hot as it was on Sunday. I did set a 10k PB on Sunday, despite the heat, so you never know. But yeah, how I'm feeling at the moment, I'm not particularly hopeful. So just like at the 10k, um, I'm not going to take the GoPro. Stacey's going to take it and see if she can get some footage. It's not great spectator-wise. I think she's only really going to be able to see the start and the finish, but we'll get what we can. So we're not too far away now, and we'll catch up when we're there. So I'm back from the 5k race this evening and I wanted to give you a quick recap of it. Firstly, it was really quite warm, but not the silly sort of temperatures that we're due to see next week. I arrived in plenty of time before the start to get my number and also do a quick warm up, uh, which ended up being laps around the cricket pitch. So the 10k race was due to start at 7.15 and it did happen on the dot. And then my race, the 5k started at 7.30. So the route was quite an interesting one. We exited the cricket pitch went onto the Tark Trail and then took a left detour onto the Southwest Coast Path. Within around the first 700 metres or so, I realised I went off too quickly. At the very beginning, I was on the heels of some blues runners, but I quickly lost them and found myself running with just a single lady and her dog. Shortly after, I ended up dropping them and I found myself on my own. The guys in front were way too far ahead for me to catch up with. Once I got onto the coast path, I found myself being overtaken by a few people that had obviously been a bit more conservative at the very beginning. The train on the southwest coast path was actually quite challenging. There wasn't much room to actually run, and some of the course was on sand with some mini dunes to tackle as well. Shortly into the race, I knew that today wasn't going to be my day, as I found my pace gradually get slower and slower as the Ks tick by. Now, although I was pretty gassed towards the end, I did somehow manage a short sprint finish to the end. And so I ended up finishing the race at bang on 21 minutes. Now, initially, I was quite disappointed with this, but looking back, I shouldn't be, especially when I consider the lack of sleep I've been having recently with a newborn. And also it's my first evening race, so I didn't really know how to tackle nutrition and hydration throughout the day. But overall, it was an enjoyable race, definitely enjoyed myself, and it was nice to do something a bit different. The event was very well run by the Fremington Trailblazers local running club here, and so I wouldn't hesitate to do another one of their races again in the future. Thanks for watching this one, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you might wanna check out my recent video here which I run a first 10k race for me and I also ended up hitting a new 10k PB. So click on the screen just there if you want to check that one out. Also if you could drop this video a like that would be amazing and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.